Dear students, today we are going to plot the VI characteristics of photo detector that is our experiment in the optical fiber communication lab and the equipments required for this plot that is for getting the VI characteristics of photo detector we need Scientec optical kit and also in order to get the voltage and current reading we need voltmeter and ammeter we are using two multimeters and the first multimeter is acting as voltmeter so we should position this switch in the voltage position and next this multimeter is used as ammeter and for that we have to position this switch in the milli ammeter range and we know that in the case of a detector whatever signal is transmitting from the transmitter side it should be detected in the receiver side so this up to this portion it acts as a transmitter and here this acts as a receiver side so whatever signal is sending from this should be detected at this side so in order to plot the vi characteristics we have to transmit the signal from here to here so we need an optical fiber cable connecting this transmitter and receiver so we are using a half meter optical fiber cable and which is acting as a channel and also we need patch cords for necessary connections let us see how we can connect the this textbook so let us see the connection of this vi characteristics of photo detector first of all we have to give the input from the voltage supply to the semitor circuit input so we are connecting it by using the patch cord next to see the voltage reading we are connecting this voltmeter in between the emitter circuit input and to this ground next we have to short circuit the terminals a and b of this emitter circuit and then we are connecting the output of this emitter circuit to the input of the detector circuit by using the 0.5 meter optical fiber cable and that cable act as the channel next we are connecting the ammeter terminals between the a and b terminals of the detector circuit that is shown here you can see here the ammeter is connected between the a and b terminals of this detector circuit so next we can switch on the power supply before that we have we should ensure that this switch walls should be in off position also this mode switch should be in the digital link position so now we can vary the voltage and we can see the current reading so when we are varying that voltage by using the supply knob you can see there is a variation of voltage for a particular value of voltage there is no current after that the current is going to increase when we are varying the voltage you can see now it reaches the you can see again at one point something the current is zero current was zero see 1.99 the current is 1.9 for 1.9 the current is 1.03 and next we are increasing for 2 point something the, the current is 1.26 for 2.00 2 2.219 the current is 2.44 there is a small increase in the current for 2.1 the current is 3 point something and again we are varying the voltage when current is 2.134 voltage is 2.133 current is 3.94 when voltage is 2.138 current is 4.0 that means current is increasing for a small change in the voltage again two, for 2.217 the current is 6.50 there is a sudden increase in the current and also for 2.226 the current is 7.1 some point something again we are varying the voltage so that you can see that the current is increasing like that 8.24 8.85 now it reached 9.24 for the small change in the voltage when it is 2.4 the current is 10.82 so now you can see there is the current reached the saturation value for the increase in the voltage the current increases in a small manner that is there is a small change in the current you can see for 9.69 the current is 10.97 that means we have varied the voltage from 2.2 to 10.57 but the current is still in the same position 
that means 10.980 that means first of all when we are increasing the voltage there is a small increase in the current see you can see the graph when we are increasing the voltage up to this point the current is zero for then for the value of 1.5 the current is increasing in a small there is a small increase in the current but for this then we are increasing the voltage value beyond this 1.5 that uh, that means uh, between the values of 1.5 and 2 the current is increasing suddenly for a small change in the voltage and it reaches up to the point 10.945 that means after this 10.945 that means the voltage corresponding to it is 3 or 2 point something value then beyond the increase beyond the ingre, beyond that point that means when we are increasing the voltage 2.5 to point um, 6 like that 4 5 6 etc the current is, is in the same value that means 10 point something value so that is the v, uh, vi characteristics of the detector that means you can see that here we have plotted the vi characteristics of the led once we plotted the vi characteristics of led you can see that its graph is like this that means for small change in the voltage there is a small change in the current after that for a small change in the voltage there is a drastic increase in the current then current reaches a saturated value similarly in the detector side also the detector works the same manner that means the detector detects the input voltage like this see you can see that both the curves are in the similar manner that means the input voltage is detected at the output side that's all about this experiment. Thank you.